Madam Kira Rudik, uh, welcome to my program. Uh, and let's start with the situation uh, right now in uh, Ukraine. Uh, Russian army issued a deadline uh, demanding Mariupol's defenders lay down their arms in exchange for safe passage, passage out of the city. U Ukrainian army said that there is no question to surrender. So, uh, do you believe that you can defend the Mariupol, um, having in mind that uh, the Russian army is all around the city? Um, the situation in Mariupol is definitely hard. It's definitely complicated. That's true. However, there is no trust to Russian forces, and so there is no surrender. I want to remind you that for the last seven days, we have been asking Russia to let out the humanitarian convoy, let out women and children who are starving there in the siege city. And for each day, the Russians would say yes. The Russians would say yes, we will allow people to, uh, to flee. And for every single day when the humanitarian convoys will start getting out, the Russian forces will fire their arms at them. So they will shoot the innocent women and children. And this is why there is no agreement with Russia. This is why there is no, agree uh, there, there is no surrender. Because uh, first of all, we are ready to fight and we will be fighting them. And second, there is no way that Russia keeps their promise. and There is no force that will make them keep their promise. Um.